Known as the oldest Porsche in history, the 1939 Type 64 was valued at $17 million at Sotheby's auction. The rarity participated in the event in August 2019 in Monterey, California, and is the only surviving specimen of the three units that gave rise to the German brand. Using the same engine transmission set as the Type 1 Volkswagen, the Type 64 had a four-cylinder engine that reached 32 horsepower in its initial conception. Of the three units of the car that were built, this one that will be auctioned was the only one left. The car was designed to participate in the berlin rome road race in 1939, but the race never took place due to the outbreak of World War II. But the model was not forgotten, and ended up as a personal object of Ferry and Ferdinand Porsche. The work done on the Type 64 later bore fruit in the Porsche 356. In 1947, the unit that went up for auction was restored by Pininfarina. The following year, the model was bought by the Austrian driver Otto Matte, who kept it until his death in 1995. In 1997, the Type 64 was purchased by collector Thomas Gruber. At the RM Sotheby's auction in Monterey, the Porsche Type 64 was expected to fetch $20 million, and it was with bewilderment that the auctioneer started the bidding at $30 million. Bidding quickly climbed to $70 million, which elicited mixed emotions in the room, some laughing while others applauding. It all turned out to be a mistake. In the midst of the confusion, the sale collapsed, as no one had bid at the values that the auctioneer proclaimed and from 70 million US dollars the value dropped to 17 million US dollars. A spokesperson for Sotheby's told Bloomberg that despite interest from discerning collectors, we have been unable to reach a consensus between seller and buyer. When the Type 64 bidding started, the values were misheard and displayed on the screen, causing an unfortunate confusion in the room. The car reached a high bid of 17 million US dollar dollars. Everything indicates that the sale of RM Sotheby's in Monterey ended with a drop of 25% compared to 2018, the year in which the auctioneer raised more than 135 million euros, one of its best results. Leave your opinion in the comments.